Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and happy Thanksgiving. And today we'll be doing a review of the Nokia Lumia 822. This is Nokia's um, uh, first uh, smartphone on the Verizon network and exclusive to Verizon. The 822, of course, is a variant of the 820, but it's styled differently. You can see the unique style in it has this kind of uh, bottom out U shape. So you've got a 4.3 inch uh, clapback AMOLED display, great for viewing in sunlight. Um, it's not a high def display. Um, just to let you guys know, you've got a front facing camera. You do have, of course, your traditional uh, button layout with the volume rockers, power button and the camera button, the standard with most Lumia devices, all Lumia devices actually. You have an eight megapixel Carl Zeiss uh, lens camera with dual LED flash. It's a 4G LTE device with 4G LTE logo. Verizon branded is in the front. Now, this has a replaceable battery and removable back cover. So what that does is first of all, you can actually change the back cover to be to a wireless charging back cover. So this uh, basically you can get wireless charging with this device. You just have to get a different back cover and also wireless charging stand. This is an 1800 milliamp battery. Again, your 4G LTE SIM is actually underneath and on top here you have micro SD card slot so you can expand your memory. Now this comes with 16 gigabytes of storage internally. Uh, you can expand that uh, more so it's actually got a nice uh, good amount of memory in there uh, with the device. <clears throat> 3.5 mm jack on the top, you've got your micro SD slot and your two speakers. So this is a Windows Phone 8 device. Of course, you've got the standard Windows 8 Phone 8 features, you know, the live tile lock screens and things like that. You've also got, of course, your customizable live tiles and your start menu um, on there. And uh, and this is uh, filled with a boatload of Nokia features. But one of the features I want to talk about is DataSense. DataSense is exclusive for Verizon this year, and it's something um, that uh, is built into Windows Phone. And if we go into DataSense, the first thing you notice, as you can see, it gives you a quick overview of your data, uh, what you're using over cellular and Wi-Fi. I haven't turned on Wi-Fi on this device, or use Wi-Fi at least on this device. So you can see I've used 213 megabytes of cellular data. I can set a limit. I can go in one time a month monthly. I can choose the amount of megabytes how I want to and so on and so forth. Um, I can also look at my usage, see what I've been using the most. So app downloads have been my most. Streaming media, I've been using Nokia Music on there, Nokia Maps, um, People, Hotmail, Maps, Store, ESPN, and so on and so forth. It shows you all the things they're using data on there. Um, in in the overview point, so that's a very nice feature. And you could also do, also do map nearby Wi-Fi spots, so you can actually um, <clears throat> search for Wi-Fi Wi-Fi spots in case you're running um, heavy on your data, so you can actually connect to a Wi-Fi um, uh, service. So it's a nice um, little package there that gives users um, great great feedback on 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 um, on how to actually manage their data overall. Now, uh, as I mentioned, you know, it's got a slew of Nokia features, which we'll get into in a second, but I just want to talk about the camera uh, here. Now, the camera, again, is the same camera you'll find on your Lumia, um, the Lumia 900. Just took a photo there by mistake. But your camera features are still the same, uh, with standard with most new Lumia phones. You can, you see you have the focus assist light, which does help uh, in taking photos. You also, um, have video settings where you now can record at 1080p with this device and we will add a 1080p recording for you with this video. Alright so I'm recording at 1080p with the camera um, just doing you some side recordings. This is the Lumia 822. Of course it doesn't have the image stabilization software that you can find in the 920 but does do a fairly decent job in taking videos. You can see it's evening in New England Time is approximately four and it's getting dark. Uh, we'll do about 30 seconds to add this with the review so you guys can check that out and see what we see here. But it does a good job. Uh, fairly nice, stable, good lighting, indoors, out, all over the place. So. All right, there we go. A lot of Nokia features here on this device, and a lot of them uh, are easily downloadable by going into your app store and going to Nokia Collections. And Nokia has a slew of um, apps that help push the Windows um, 
Windows uh, Phone experience, especially some of the apps that have been built for other um, app, you know, not not specifically to Nokia, but other things within the App Store. So, for instance, there's the the Caddy app, which is a very very good app if you're a golfer. Uh, trust me, I've used it this summer; and it was pretty pretty good. Um, you've also got the ESPN uh, Fantasy Football app, which is great for fantasy football fans in football season. So, if you're switching to Lumia, I suggest you get that if you're an ESPN Fantasy Football, ESPN News. You've also got some lenses there. A huge collection. Of course, you've got the whole Nokia Maps drives, uh, drive and Nokia Direction. So let's look at a uh, quick. Let's take a quick look at Nokia Drive in action. Uh, we took this video while we were with uh, Nokia's VP of uh, Marketing, giving a tour of their True Cars uh, demo. And of course, it thinks we're pointing the other way. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, we'll get going now. So the all of the maps that we're creating with this collection technology we have in this vehicle basically are best experienced on Lumia devices like the Lumia 822 that you see here. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we pay a great deal of attention to is the accuracy of the maps. And we have, we're have we capturing this rich information, but you can see from the drive application here that we're not actually exposing all that because we don't want to cause... Yards, turn left. We don't want to cause any driver distraction or driver confusion. But you can see that we do have some of the 3D content that we're capturing from these kinds of vehicles displayed here. But we want to make sure we have a very clean user interface yeah. uh, so that our drivers, uh, when they're using these products, don't get sort of distracted. Now, as we're driving, you'll hopefully we'll encounter some of the kinds of attribution that we're capturing with this vehicle. All right, so you've seen all these different features with the... Um with the Lumia um, 822. What I like about it in general is that it actually feels very comfortable as a device. Uh, call quality is great, 4G LTE speeds have been spec. Um, at good LTE speeds, you can also share your, your, your internet service. So for instance, if you wanted to connect your laptop or something, you can turn on internet sharing right there, you can turn it on. Already you can see it's, uh, I can set up a hotspot. So it's a very easy process. Overall, it's very smooth, very simple. Things also, you also have things like Nokia Music, which gives you free streaming uh, music, which I've been using on this device, and it works well. You've got nice audio balance because you also have some audio settings you can play around with um, on this device. And if you're going to audio, you can check that out. You can see um, you have an equalizer and Dolby headphones. Once you plug your headphones in, you get very, very good sound, very solid overall. And then one other thing, too, is you've got display touch. So every single Lumia device actually has this feature, a high-sensitivity display, which means, again, I really don't know where my gloves are, but you can, like I said, if you take you know, a glove or a cloth or something else other than your finger, uh, you can still navigate around the screen. You can see it does that quite well. So, so overall, I really like the Lumia um, 822. I think Verizon uh, users will like it. Retails for $99 uh, with a two-year contract. So if you're looking for a smartphone to pick up on Black Friday, I think this is something that you might want to look into. So overall, um, that is the Lumia 822, a very, very solid start for Windows Phone on the um, Verizon uh, wireless network. If you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border World with 2.0. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.